Discovering unique travel destinations around the world has become more accessible than ever, thanks to the internet. My name is Eric Conover. I'm a professional filmmaker and world traveler living in New York City. In this video, I'm going to share with you the top most incredible travel destinations for 2019. Now every location on my list, I have traveled to, filmed, and experienced firsthand. The way I find out about new places to travel is through YouTube. So comment down below your top places you want to travel in 2019, or if you've been to any of the places on my list. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more high quality travel content. Without any ado, these are the top travel destinations for 2019. Number one on my list is Tanzania. Tanzania is an East African country known for its vast wilderness areas, from the plains of the Serengeti National Park, gradually giving way to the tallest freestanding mountain on earth, Mount Kilimanjaro. I recommend traveling to Tanzania in January or during the dry season from late June till about October, which is the best time to view wildlife. When in Tanzania, fly into the city of Arusha. The best way to experience any new destination is by fully immersing yourself through the eyes of a local. This is my, my city, my, my village. I don't think you can call it a city, it's a village. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful though, yeah. very peaceful. And for the more daring, you can take on the mission of climbing the 19,341 feet to the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro. You start the climb trekking through the dense rainforest, and by the end, you finish the summit surrounded by the glaciers of Africa in the crater of the volcano. Experiencing unparalleled natural beauty. Come to Tanzania for a new perspective on life. After all, there's no feeling like standing on top of the world. Well, except maybe a Finnish ice bath. Number two on my list is Lapland, Finland. Lapland is Finland's northernmost region, known for its vast subarctic wilderness, ski resorts, and of course the elusive Northern Lights. To get there, take a short flight from Helsinki north to the town of Kitala. Welcome to Kitala. And you will find yourself immersed in an actual winter wonderland. Lapland on average gets 60 to 90 centimeters of snow per winter, and the snowpack is deepest in mid-March. This is a snow test. Oh! So we found out the secret to this deep treacherous snow in Finland. A pair of these boys, snowshoes. They are a must in Lapland. If you're feeling kind of lazy, or you're looking for a bit more of a thrill, Rent a snowmobile and venture far out into the remote wilderness. Notice how quiet it is with all the snow. I could literally hear the snowflakes hitting my jacket. That's how quiet it is. You can't find this in New York? No, definitely you can't find not this in it. New York. When you're this far up north, the best thing to do sometimes is just embrace the cold and stay a night at the Snow Village Ice Hotel. The temperature is minus nine or minus 10 Celsius. It's actually colder in the Ice Hotel than outside. The hotel comes complete with an amazing restaurant, movie theater, bar, and even a chapel. And on a clear cold night, head to an isolated cabin far from city lights. Look up at the night sky, and if you're lucky, you'll see the most spectacular show of lights dancing and darting through the night sky. Number three is West Sweden. Sweden is a Scandinavian country with thousands of coastal islands, and during the summer months, when the sun doesn't set, it's as close to perfect as you can get. Head to the city of Gothenburg and take a ride at the amusement park. Swim in a glass pool high above the city, stroll the streets and have a classic Swedish fika. Then catch a boat out of Gothenburg to the island of Ronjo and make friends with the most Swedish man in the entire country. So my name is Håkan Karlsten and uh, we are in my garden at Bromi today. And celebrate a traditional Swedish midsummer in his garden, surrounded by family, strawberries, dancing like little frogs around the maypole, and of course, schnapps. 
Lots of schnapps. Catch your own lunch experiencing Swedish fishing culture and spend the day working as a deckhand on a cray fishing boat. Or grab some kayaks and explore the thousands of islands along the west coast. Find a 70 foot high cliff and take the plunge into some of the cleanest water on planet Earth. Come to West Sweden to relax and enjoy a simpler life by the sea. Next up on my list is Martinique. Martinique is a rugged Caribbean island, part of the Lesser Antilles. And if you're based in New York, it's only a quick flight away. You land in the bustling capital city, the gateway to Martinique, where the culture reflects a distinctive blend of French and West Indian influences. The northern half of the island is defined by the towering Mont Pelee volcano, a sea of vivid green, lush tropical rainforest blankets the rugged landscape of the north. I recommend hiking to the summit of the volcano, then adventure down into the narrow gorges below to cool off in a hidden waterfall. Martinique is one of the most environmentally friendly islands in the Caribbean. You can even spend the night in a giant eco-friendly jungle bubble resort. Yes, this is a thing. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Make your way to the very southernmost point of the island, to the brilliant white shores of Les Salines, which is actually the most beautiful beach that I have ever seen on Earth. Come to Martinique to experience the full vibrance of the Caribbean on one single island. Next on my list is the land of fire and ice. Iceland is defined by its dramatic landscape with active volcanoes, hot springs, and massive glaciers covering 11% of the landscape. 60% of the population lives in the capital city of Reykjavik, leaving the majority of the country in pure isolation. The best way to explore Iceland is by renting a car and making your way down the southeast coast. On your road trip, stop at the most famous waterfall in the country, Skogafoss. Make friends with some locals who will lead you to a secret hot spring well off the beaten path. Rent an Airbnb in the small fishing village of Vik and explore the world famous black sand beaches with its enormous basalt stacks and roaring Atlantic waves. Explore the crystal ice caves and towering glaciers which flow to the sea and wash up on the shore dazzling at Diamond Beach. My biggest piece of advice while in Iceland is arrive to the touristy locations at sunrise to avoid those crowds and keep a very, very close eye on the weather. It is an Icelandic code orange, which means all the roads are shut down. But the next destination on my list has pretty much sunny skies year round, California. California is a western U.S. state that stretches from the Mexican border along the Pacific Ocean for nearly 900 miles. The terrain includes cliff-lined beaches, vast areas of desert, and the sprawling city of Los Angeles. The best way to fully experience California is to road trip down the historic Highway 1. Start off in San Francisco, make your way south through Big Basin, and experience the wonders of the Redwood Forest. Continue down to Santa Cruz for a quick surf. Really take it slow as you drive through Big Sur, which is one of the most dramatic meetings of land and sea on Earth. Take a tour of the extravagant hilltopped Hearst Castle. Spend some time lounging by the pool in Palm Springs. Trade in your car for an RV. Welcome to our home on wheels. And head way out into the desert to do some soul searching in the spiritual Joshua Tree National Park. And if you really want to get away, head to one of the most remote countries in the world, New Zealand. New Zealand is a country in the southwestern Pacific Ocean, marked by incredible geothermal wonders, rolling green hills, and more sheep than people. Fly into Auckland and head right to the top of the Sky Tower. Harness yourself in and get a 360 view of the cityscape walking around the narrow skywalk. Or if you really want to beat that jet lag, just base jump off the building. Leave the city behind and visit the tranquil town of Hobbiton. 
head out into the bush and hike through a forest of silver ferns to Bridal Veil Falls. Or kick back and relax and take a healing geothermal sulfur mud bath at Hell's Gate. And finally, do a full send off of a 25 foot waterfall down the rapids in Rotorua. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more high quality travel content. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Yo!